So here's a couple of ways of creating seamless loops in a DAW. So if your DAW supports second pass cycles, then we can do that. So I'm going to jump into the bounce menu. And here we have real time and then bounce second cycle pass, which simply means that it will play the loop once, have the reverb or any effects build up. And then on the second time, second turn around, it will bounce it. So then we'll have the reverbs and any effects that you have. So let's do this. So let's go OK. Call that seamless loop one. And then after this, I'm going to bounce a normal version. So let's go here and I can do that in offline. And let's call this intro. So here we have the files. So if we have a listen to the intro, then it sounds like this. Like that. Uh, so that's exactly like this one does over here. But if we go to the seamless one, we can hear that it sounds a bit different in the beginning because it has the end here. So if I make a loop, cycle around this and I play it, jump over to the end here. Now, if we try and do the same thing on our intro loop, which is not done in a second pass, then essentially it will sound like it starts over. So. So, so it clearly feels like a loop, but with the seamless uh, loop with the effects essentially overlapping, it feels like the music is simply progressing. So sometimes the second pass loop doesn't work in logic. And I'm not sure if this is something to do with logic. Uh, but uh, anyway, in this case, we can hear that this loop here. We jump to the end. So there's definitely a click there. So the way we can overcome that is to go back to the original. So in this case, I'm just going to do this in bounce in place. So I'm going to go control B and then we're going to make sure that we have include audio telling file and include audio telling region, which is to extend it. That's what we want. So let's go. Okay. And there we go. Let's move this over here. So this is here at the end of the loop. We can see that. So I'm going to edit it there. I'm going to duplicate this track. Let's mute you for now. And I'm going to move this end here to the beginning. And we'll make a cycle again. Put this back. Go to the end. So now there's no click anymore. And then you can obviously bounce this again or just keep it as it is.